Hi Pisces, welcome back to Key Wisdom to Raw. It's Ruth here, your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader and this is your intuitive reading for the time between the 25th of April and the 8th of May. Um, I also obviously I'm going to be giving you some Reiki in this, heal in this uh, reading as well. You just have to sit back and relax for that, there's nothing you need to do for that. Okay my darling, so I'm going to draw as many cards as necessary into two piles, uh, two rows, sorry. So the first row is gonna to relate to this first week, excuse me, the last week in April, and the second row is gonna really relate to this first week in May, okay? Now, when we perform distant Reiki, or Reiki at a distance, we intend that you receive it at a time that is appropriate for you, and we also have to intend that you, the Reiki you receive is for your highest good. So if you're in a nice, relaxed, comfortable position right now in your bed, during this reading, the Reiki will be activated and you may receive it immediately. I'm having a very hot, I'm having a, a very distinct reaction right now. <laughs> so you're definitely going to get your Reiki, okay? But you can, as I said, you'll get it at an appropriate time and you can always ask for the Reiki. So when you are in bed, chilling or in a safe, comfortable space and position, you can you can just say, I'm ready for my Reiki now. I'm ready to receive my Reiki. And you will. Okay, my darlings, you will definitely receive it. Okay, I've already shuffled and meditated. I'll do a little bit more of that on camera and then we will get started. Okay. Pisces, oh Pisces, Whew. right, you've come into some real truths, haven't you, and that's really good, it's really positive, your, your energy has shifted so much, which is beautiful, okay, because I know it's been a bit of a challenge this year, Pisces has not been fun this year, has it, but this is you coming back into your own, bless you, okay, so this is a card at the base of the reading, <laughs> the card at the base of the reading is the overall energy or experience, um, of this couple of weeks or the um, perspective you need to see this reading through. So there has been feelings of vulnerability for you, obviously, Page of Cups. This is your card, actually, Pisces. Um, Cups energy is about our emotions. And the Page of Cups is that child, the inner child, children, I suppose, as well. But really, um, this is you presenting your vulnerabilities, showing that it's okay to be vulnerable, recognising that you understand that it's okay to be vulnerable, and recognising that it is time for a new start for you. And the pages never know the outcomes of things. We never know because we're not a king or a queen. We don't know the outcome of what, it, what it's going to be like if I start sharing my emotions with people around me. What is that going to be like if I start showing people my vulnerabilities? You don't know the outcome of that. However, you the energy is here for you now to start... The, to work in a different way with people, to interact in a different way with yourself as well. I think you, you maybe you saw it as a weakness in the past, which is strange because you shouldn't have and because you're a Pisces. <laughs> but um, yeah, not no more. And that's a huge shock and a huge change and huge... You know, when we have, when we go through changes, yeah, when we go through... Um, sudden events, you know, events that suddenly happen, enter our life and create change. When we go through those changes, it can cause us to feel vulnerable. We can feel vulnerable. But you're having a new beginning. Clearly, you're having a new beginning, a new beginning and a new way of, I'm going to have to pull these out, aren't I? Clearly, you're having a new beginning somewhere because in some aspects of your life, you know, you, you're clearly having that. And obviously, the, the tower tells us that anyway. Um, but you're clearly having that, um, a new beginning. And you are ready for it. Yeah, you might feel vulnerable, but you're able to, to to have it. And it means that things might change for you, whether it's work or whether it's your family situation, whatever it is, your relationship, your friendship, something is going to change. And what that means is with the tower card, I love this card, it's a blessing. So I've been given, because this has come out a few times um, in the readings, 
this month. So I've said to people, this happened to me last year. This happened to me last year. My car, literally the 30th of, well, the 15th of April, 2018, this happened to me. My car broke down and I could not go to work. I couldn't drive to work. And I was like, and you would, people think that when that something like that happens, you're like, they should like panic and like, oh my God, oh my God. But no, man, I was like this man. I was like, yeah, man, I'm ready for a new beginning. And I went for it. And 12 months later, I, I started launch my YouTube channel on the 25th of April, 2018. I'm in a brand new world and a new beginning, new structures, new foundations, and I'm loving it. I'm loving life. And that's what you really need to recognise, that the changes coming through for you, and they are coming through for you this week, potentially, sudden changes are actually putting you, yes, they make you feel vulnerable, but they're actually putting you in a place, in a position, on a path that is absolutely specifically for you. It's time to live your truth. Look. It really is. It's like, this is what, again, this is what I did last year. You know, I'm not, you know, I talk about me because try, I try to give you examples because people see the tarot card and they, they fear it, man. They fear it. They go, oh my God, oh my God. But as I said, this is called key wisdom. Energy, key means energy and wisdom is gain through experiences. And that's why my channel is called Key Wisdom Tarot because the wisdom I gained through the experiences that I went through and through working, actually through working with the energies as well, to be fair, is how I can give you, is why I tell you what I'm telling you right now. You literally have everything that you need right now to, to build the security that you need, to have the future that you want, to, to create the life that you want, like I did, out of thin earth, out of nothing, out of nothing. I had, I had an internet connection. I used my iPhone and my laptop and I bought a one pound selfie stick from the pound land. And this, this cost me about 40 quid, actually 45 pound. This helps me to download my videos off my iPhone onto the laptop. And then obviously blah, blah, blah. So that's all out of thin air, out of nothing, out of nothing. I created something. I created an income. Uh, you know, I created a platform that I could continue my healing journey and my growth and my knowledge and my expansion and get paid for it. I was thinner. This is you. It's an opportunity, this. It's an opportunity, the tower, to be living your truth. And yeah, with, I had a, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was like this, man. But I was also like, nah, man, I'm going for it. I'm going for it, man. Because I knew that I could do it. I bought my tarot cards at the Christmas. I bought my tarot cards at Christmas just after Christmas. Anyway, do you know what I'm saying? So this is you. New beginning, number one, new beginning. Ready to manifest, ready to build, ready to create, ready to go for it. And it's a tower that brings it in, a, a sudden change of events. And that can be anything. As I said, my car broke, my car was off the road. My car is fine now, by the way. My car was off the road for two weeks. That was my tower moment. So you, it could be something similar. You might might be something similar. Car is off the road for for a week or two or whatever. Gives you opportunity to work on the book that you've always wanted to write, or start the the um, charity that you've always wanted to charity, or, or to always wanted to run, or start the whatever. I don't know. Do the research to find out about the the degree that you've always wanted to to to, to take, or whatever. Whatever. Um, these are examples. They're not. I'm not predicting that. I'm just saying that there's always opportunity where the tower is involved. Okay, and even if you fear it, even if you worry about it, there's always opportunity. Look, energy coming in. Look, number eight. Eight is new. This all. Oh, this is what it is. Eight is new cycles, new karmic cycles. Okay, or not new. Sorry. Eight is cycles, yeah? Karmic cycles, karma. It's a number of endurance, going through things, persevering with things in order to come into awareness and awakening, okay? So we have external experiences. That's a, that's a sun, the top of the number eight. We have external experiences that help us to engage with our emotions. That's the moon below, okay? Look, this is a number eight. I'm creating an eight for you. So basically, the karma that we go through helps us to refine, uncover, reveal more and more of ourselves, more and more of our truths and our authenticity. 
So, and this, because it's wand energy, it's related to, oh, sorry, this one's come out as well. This, because it's wand energy, is related to your life force, your key, your energy, your second or sacral chakra. And this is, so this is new energy coming through. And that could be in the form of messages, you know, speaking to people, doing the research, finding it out. Um, it could be in the form of opportunities. It's clarity coming through. And, and I do think whatever this, this sudden change or this sudden shock event that happens, and it, as I said, it's not, this could be, for example, this could be you've been in a relationship for 10 years with your partner and suddenly the per the partner asks you to marry them. That's the tower moment. Or you've been single for years and years and years and suddenly you meet somebody in the supermarket and fall in love. That could be a tower moment. Does, a tower moment doesn't mean it's something bad. It can be anything. And as I said, whatever it is, is leading you on the path that you should be on. It, new energy is coming into your life, new opportunities coming into your life. This is what's leaving. Because this is a, you've been in a situation that you've wanted to change for some time, whether it be work, whether it be a relationship or being single or being in isolation from somebody. You could be, this could be an er, excuse me, an er sign. You could be in love with an er sign. You know, a tor uh, Taurus. Uh, er <laughs> I'll start again, shall I? A Gemini, a Libra or Aquarius. You could be have been in isolation from that person for so long. You've not spoke to them for two years. You thought it was over. You thought they didn't care about you. And then suddenly, boom, messages come through. Clear clarity comes through. Truthfulness comes through. And this situation which you've been enduring changes suddenly suddenly you could be in separation in a way this just came through so this could be resonant for some people your partner and you are separated by because of work so you're maybe they're in the armed forces or maybe they just work in a different state because it's better for you money there's more money for them or whatever and it's like suddenly and and, and you know you you know you're still a couple you're fine together all that stuff but you're isolated from each other because of that work situation. And it's like suddenly, oh my gosh, news comes in that you're able to be together again. You're able to, you know, there's a new job or a new opportunity or something. I don't know, whatever. Some For some of you, that's what it will be. But I don't make predictions. I just talk about the energies. I'm just giving you examples as well. But that was actually intuitive. So that could be for somebody. But yeah, this is saying that new energy is coming through. This is over now. Read the description box below, below for a breakdown of the number fives. The number fives are about change. And pentacles energy is where we put our energy and effort into in order to establish our security. This is change coming through. Wanting to change a situation that we've been enduring. That's what this basically means. Wanting to change a situation we've been enduring. And that could be because of a lack of communication. Definitely for some people. Lack of communication. Um, It could have been... But also this could be you avoiding your truth. You know, this could be... You know, you, know, you do a job that you do because it's, it provides security. And that's good. You know, obviously security is important. Wealth is important. However... That is also something that makes you feel like you're not living your truth and like you're not able to tell your pe the people that you love and that are close to you, just like I felt last year. This is like my this is this is like rewind 2019, 2018 for me. This is literally like I was doing a job that yeah provided security, you know, with because I was a teacher and I earned money, but I was I was isolated from people because they didn't know who I truly was because I wasn't living my truth. I was living not like I was living a lie. I mean, I was happy enough, but I wasn't fulfilled. You know, and 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 you are isolated because how do you say to people, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, disregard my five year degree or my four year degree, and I'm going to, you know, the and and the ten years after it's taken me to be, you know, the the, the work that I've done to be a teacher, and I'm gonna become a tarot reader." I mean, can you imagine? I mean, you can imagine, because that's what some of you are, that's what some of you are literally in that, maybe not tarot reading, but something that's, you know, not as seemingly, I don't know, whatever. But that type of energy, but it's like, listen, if that's, 
when you live with in close proximity to people and you don't speak your truth to them, you feel isolated. Well, the tower is coming in to help you to be you, to help you to speak your truth, sword energy, our thoughts, our minds, our clarity, our consciousness, our communication. Yeah, what we say and think and what we allow ourselves to say and think with the sword energy and taking action because it's masculine, taking action on our truths, having the conversations, taking the action, being truthful. And, you know, we're moving on. You're moving away from the fives to the number sixes, the unity, the beauty and the balance of the number six. Because it's time for you to be... yourself and accept yourself and accept that even if it's your dream to become a tarot reader and you are currently a, a high-powered lawyer or whatever earning this money with a nice comfortable life but you you can't fight that change that's trying to come through anymore number five you can't fight that change that's trying to come through anymore because you are going further and further within yourself. You are suppressing yourself more and more by refusing to live your truth. Five of Pentacles. So it's time. It's time to shift and to move. And you would not have done this without the Tower moment. You wouldn't have done it. The tower moment is here. So now is the opportunity. Tower is an opportunity. Now is the opportunity to move forward. To move forward. Number six is about balance. I did those people that follow me, on, that follow Key Wisdom Tarot on Instagram, on Facebook. There was a spirit message that came through. Angel number 665. And I wrote about the number sixes in the tarot. I wrote about the number five. And I explained what that message meant and what the number, the 665 message was, is universe got your back. Recognize that your external experiences and actions, your intuition, inner knowing and emotions and the woundings of your inner child. All of those aspects of yourself are necessary for you to be happy. The necessary for you to be whole, the necessary for you to be stable. So recognize that they exist because that's bringing through wisdom, that's bringing through beauty, that's bringing through balance, that's bringing through harmony. I'm interested to see now what's going to happen or as we move forward because we're moving forward, clearly moving forward, clearly, clearly. Yes. Yes. You know what this is? This is the universe going, yes, Pisces, yes, you're on the right path. You're making the right decisions. You're responding to your intuition. The unity, the wholeness of you. You are recognising, you, you are responding to it. And this is the universe, your angels, your guides, God, whatever you believe, going, yes. You're on the right path. Yes, Pisces, you're doing the right thing. Yes, you are listening. This is celebration, cause for celebration. As I said, the, 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 the Tower card is a blessing. It's a blessing. And maybe the blessing's in disguise, but it's a blessing nonetheless. And if you respond to that blessing like I did 365 days ago, then I'm celebrating, the universe is celebrating me. The universe is celebrating you now. Listen, respond. The blessing is here. Even as I said, if it's like your car breaks down. You, you, you might, for example, let's, let's say this as well, for example, yeah? You have been seeing somebody, dating somebody for a very short amount of time. And suddenly, this could be the same. This is an example. Suddenly, you fall pregnant or, or they fall pregnant. <laughs> And you're like, whoa, man, like this is, I've only known this, this girl or this person a few months. I, you know, I don't even, I, but the universe is like, no, this is right. This is what's meant to be happening. This is a path that you should be on. You can create, you can have stability. It's time for your single life to be your, it could happen fast, you know, but either way, it's a blessing. 
Number three is about truth. Number three is about expansion. Number three is about you being happy, being you in the world. Number three is linked to your third chakra, which is the solar plexus, which is the seat of your authenticity, which is happiness, which is joy, self-expression. This is why emotions, cups is emotions. This is the chord of celebration. Reasons to be cheerful. One, two, three. That's the song, isn't it? Reasons to be cheerful. One, two, three. And some of you, it will be, it will be a surprise pregnancy for some of you. I don't make predictions. But for some of you, it, it potentially will be, you know? Came out of nowhere, seemingly. Am I ready? Yeah, you're ready. You can worry, but it's gonna, but it's good. You can worry, but it's good. It's good for you. It's happy times. Blessings. Blessings are here, Pisces. Blessings are here. I'm going to call you reading that. Blessings are here. Because they are here. And you do not see them as blessings. Maybe some of you may not. But it's as if a situation you have been enduring. Whatever that is for you as an individual. A situation that you have been enduring for a long time, that you kind of wanted to be over, even if you didn't admit that out loud, is now over. Suddenly, quickly, fast. And it leads to a new beginning. Pentacles energy, as I said, where we put our energy and effort in order to, to create stability. This is a queen. So instead of the king, where we take action, the queens are about our inner wisdom, our inner understanding. This is about understanding where you need to put your energy and effort understanding because that's being compassionate being truthful with yourself is being compassionate being truthful with yourself is nurturing yourself is growing is strengthening is healing this is what the queen of pentacles is saying right now it's saying it's time to focus on you it's time to focus on the areas that you know that need nurturing within you, that you know that need bringing security through within you. It's time because the universe is supporting you. Just a second. Teddy, stop it. The universe is supporting you. The universe is saying you can create, you can create the stability, even if you, even if it was a surprise pregnancy, or even if, yeah, if your car broke down, then yeah, you can set up your YouTube channel in two weeks, like I did. Actually, I had about a month because I didn't post my first video till the seventh of May, and I practiced. I set up the channel, set up everything, did my research during the Easter holidays because uh, I was still teaching, obviously. Um, well, I wasn't because it was the holidays. Anyway, and then I practiced and I practiced, and then seventh of May, boom first videos which is crazy to me to think that was a year but it's like you you don't need a huge amount of time you do your research if you've been if it's been a, an idea that's been growing within you it's time the opportunity comes now to do it okay again this could be a reunion this could be this could do you know what this could be actually this could be some of you you've been in isolation from a partner from a lover they get in touch with you oh my gosh if you don't want to get pregnant or if you don't want to become a uh, a father of, of a child but you're getting back in touch with your um, heterosexual, you know, so this is obviously for heterosexual couples, obviously. Um, then you better put something on it, you know, because this might be, you know, there's contact when there's been no contact. You know, if you've been you've not been in contact with them for a long, long time. You get in touch with them, they get in touch with you, whatever. You end up having sex and suddenly you're pregnant. <laughs> and you know you've not spoken to them for two bloody years for example and then suddenly oh my gosh we've got a baby like she's she, we're pregnant or we're gonna have a child as i said it's what's meant to happen it's a tower moment but it's what's meant to happen because you two were meant to come together obviously you two were meant to be reunited you can create stability out of nothing seemingly out of nothing with the magician it's time for this new start this new this new stability we've got more pages more children here more air uh, here diligence Hang on, I need a drink of water because I'm... This is this is intense, this reading, isn't it? Pisces. Again, pages we do not know. We don't know the outcome, but page of swords, we're willing to put the work in, we're willing to find out, we're willing to do the research, we're willing to... Um, have those conversations, seek out, the find the advice, you know, negotiate with people. 
this is why they call the page of Sto page of swords the stalker card because the page of swords is about the details finding out the information going to do the research and again this could be because of a new pregnancy or because you're trying to set up your own business or start something new work related yeah you're going to put the work into this because when this op when this moment comes this ta this blessing in disguise comes or for some of you it won't be in disguise you know as i said it will be you'll fall in love at first sight or you'll get you know you'll end up in a relationship or you know you get made redundant from a job or you can't whatever it is but you realize i've got an amount of time i've got this time now this window to do the research to find out what it's going to take for me to get from where i'm at where i've been to where i want to get to you're going and you're going to put the work in seriously you're going to put that work in that energy that effort in to create a new karmic cycle for yourself, a new cycle to have new experiences. This is amazing. I mean, Pisces, because the energy for you has been, as I said, we know, I know. I mean, I'm not a Pisces, but I know Pisces, man. Because I tell you what, Pisces season for me was hard, man. And Pisces, Mercury retrograde during Pisces season, what? Forget about it. I couldn't get out of bed for weeks. No, no joke. So I know, and that's, and I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> so for Pisces, what has it been like for you? Do you see what I'm saying? You're willing now to make changes and it's going to happen like that. Blink of an eye. And you're going to be vulnerable. Oh, look, this is, you're vulnerable here. But this is consolidation almost, as also as well. Remember, fours are about our foundations, the structures in our lives. And the pentacles energy is the structures that exist in your life, that currently exist. The tower is coming in to shake this stuff up. And you will try to hold on to it, some of you. Some of you will claim the blessing immediately. Some of you will... Stru but it... But it's consolidation because it's about you realising I have got the things I need. I do have the wisdom, the experience. I do have the will to put the energy and effort into it. I do have the smarts to take the action that is necessary to bring this, to birth this idea to birth this business to birth this um career change to birth this family i do have what it takes but this is you having to realize that and respond to that with the four of pentacles okay because look i tell you what pisces new beginnings new beginnings new blessings new opportunities New beginnings, new blessings. That's I'm gonna call you reading that. I'm listening. Look, new beginnings, new blessings, new opportunities, and you, my friends, my beautiful, fabulous Pisces, Pisces friends, have to. Well, you don't have to do anything. You don't ever have to do anything. You, the universe will always give you other opportunities. But what I want you to at least do is engage with the feelings that you're experiencing. I want you to engage with this energy that's coming towards you. It's coming towards you. And I want you to engage with it because if you do that, Pisces, it might be that you actually get to make the changes that you want. To, to leave a situation that you've been enduring, whether it's been singledom, whether it's been, um, you know, whether it's because you've been single, whether it's because you wanted to start a family, whether it's because you wanted to change jobs to start your business, whatever it is for you as an individual. And what, when the energy comes through to change that, recognise, know, understand that you can do it, Pisces. You can do it, Pisces. And yeah, you might feel vulnerable. And yeah, you might not know the outcome. But the universe is saying to you, we're celebrating you if you take this opportunity. We're celebrating you because you've got what it takes right now, right now, to create the life 
the stability, the future, the work, the children, the family, whatever it is that you want. I'm going to leave it there, my darlings. I'm going to leave it there. So, Pisces, give this video a thumbs up, please, because that is how you support your YouTubers. It is a lot of work, more work than you can probably imagine, to be honest, to produce this content for you guys. Not just me, all your YouTubers, yeah? So please support your YouTubers by giving us a thumbs up because it helps to spread the content around as well. It helps to spread it out for other people to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Leave me your comments. I'm off on holiday on Friday, but I will respond to your comments once I get back from my holidays, okay? Um, don't forget to follow Kiwi to Raw on Instagram, on Facebook for extra little bits, little snippets, little pieces of information, intuitive messages, all sorts of things we talk about on there. It's a great platform. We have great conversations on there as well. Um, and that is it, I think. Yeah, that is actually it. That is actually it. Oh, and as I said, it's my it's my one year anniversary. So I wanted to say thank you for your love, for your support. Kiwis and Tarot, 70, I'm gone, 72, 27,000 followers uh, in, in the last year. So we're doing really well. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Have a fabulous two weeks, okay? See the blessings, yeah? See the blessings and claim them. Have a fabulous couple of weeks, Pisces. I'll see you around the 8th of May with your next intuitive reading and enjoy your Reiki. Take care, my fabulous Pisces. Bye.